So one of Cranky's loyalist allies, you might say, Angus McNeil, has now turned on her over the Gender Reform Bill, the SNP's what you might call flagship policy, which is an absolute disgrace. He said that the bill is clearly wrong, I quote, and, I quote again, should be withdrawn and scrapped. I find it very strange to agree with a Scots gnat, but he actually makes a couple of good statements, and this is one here. This is not about trans people. It is about people who could possibly masquerade as trans people and invade women's safe spaces who are known as bad faith actors. I cannot support that. Trans people deserve respect and dignity, but this legislation is not about that. That last bit especially, I agree with him. This is not about that. I Personally, I don't care how you live your life. Do what you like. But do not do it at the expense of others, especially young girls and women who could fall prey to simply a sexual deviant who wants to invade their safe spaces, which is what he is saying here. This is a... For me, this is about virtue signalling. This is Sturgeon trying to look like some sort of pioneer to the rest of the world and probably after a job at the WEF or the UN when she's finally booted out of office, which is drawing closer all the time. This is not about protecting trans people. They are such a small percentage of the population that if they live quiet lives, I don't think anybody would even bother about them. But the fact that they're championed by people like Cranky who want to look all virtuous to the rest of the world makes it look increasingly hostile and the fact is now that i think if this rebellion continues to grow you're going to see people despite the fact it was rushed through to stop forbes resigning you may well see her resign all the same if the rebellion grows sufficiently and yet it might